time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, we're going to keep talking about National Signing Day. Coach Rick, a bunch of tweets yesterday. Welcome right. to the family. You family. You family. You family. What do you think about the new members of the family? The team finishing with a top 10 recruiting class. Are you pleased with who signed with UM? I thought they did a great job overall. I know some people are going to say, why didn't they get this guy or why couldn't they keep this guy in South Florida? It's impossible to keep all of them. I thought they got a really solid class, one of the best classes they've had in a long time, especially at the wide receiver position and a lot of the skilled positions on offense, including the tight end position. I thought they did really well overall. I, I can see where Mark Rick's excited about this class. I think it's got a chance to be one of the best classes they've had in a long, long time going back to when they were winning national championships. Very, very impressive class of, of players from all over. All right, Joe, good for them. Not so good, though, for the Miami Heat. I got to admit, I didn't get to watch the game last night, but I was following along on Twitter. At one point, they went on this crazy run, and then when I checked the score this morning, they lost, Joe, their fifth straight loss. How do they snap the streak, and what moves, if any, do they need to make before this trade deadline? Well, let's start with the great James Harden uh, show last night was unbelievable. Hit a couple threes late in that game. He is the MVP. That person you're working with over there, she knows what she's talking about. She was very good. James Harden playing out of this world, had a monster game. Hey, I wouldn't read into last night. They've been in all these games. I don't think they're going to do anything. Trade deadline today at 3 o'clock. They just got to get everybody healthy. They got to win some of these close games. I know they've lost five in a row right now and, and struggling. They got Milwaukee. Not going to be an easy game mm -mm. coming up here as well. But I, I just look overall. They're, they're playing hard. They're not the most talented team. They're not. They don't have star players like James Harden and Chris Ball on this team. But uh, I don't think they're going to do anything. I think they're looking at it, say, we got to learn how to win these close games, start winning our share, playing better at home. But I don't expect too much to happen right now. All right. So not many moves for the Heat. We'll see if other teams make any big moves before the deadline later today. Joe, thank you so That's much. That's right. We'll talk to you in the next hour.